a thread by Soul War. Kyle Rittenhouse did nothing wrong. Now that we are four days out from the Kenosha shooting, more facts have come to light, which prove he was not a white supremacist MAGA supporter gleefully hunting down BLM and Antifa to shoot. Mainstream media and the left won't care, of course. My last thread was critical of Rittenhouse for making President Trump's job harder as Democrats clapped. Happy their perfect storm of hell zone conditions they've deliberately created finally brought out regular armed Americans to gun down their innocent, peaceful protesters. Democrats want dead BLM and Antifa. Shot down by regular Americans, they and their MSM lackeys will then cast as Trump supporters, shedding innocent blood. They hope to use these martyrs as fuel for their campaign to make America ungovernable. Vote Biden to make the chaos go away. I was upset that these militia and Rittenhouse, I was upset that these militia and Rittenhouse appeared to have interjected themselves into the riots to confront people who are straight up dangerous and insane, drunk on the wine of violence empowered by Democrat cities and governors. I was wrong. Rittenhouse, we now learn, was asked to defend businesses by their owners and along with a friend, agreed. Rittenhouse works in Kenosha, so he wasn't interjecting himself into anything. He provided aid to BLM rioters. He was simply trying to defend property. That night, the BLM rioters were pushed back from the courthouse by the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department via a line of MRAP and LRAP armored vehicles, and about 150 officers. The rioters had ignored over 20 commands to disperse. The law enforcement officers pushed the rioters back about half a mile from the courthouse, then pulled back. BLM then decided to light an illegal street fire. Look at the street fire. They're making it out of, out of traffic cones. That must smell great. BLM. As they were feeding it to grow it larger, a militia member from a nearby gas station walked up and extinguished it. The mob, already angry at being pushed away from the Kenosha County Courthouse, immediately followed the militia member back to his buddies at the gas station. Here's video of it. Listen carefully. Link in the thread, thread link in the description. You must check this one out. The guy in the red shirt is one of the guys who gets killed. He's really short and he says, shoot me, Blanca. During that clip, I heard three gunshots, two rather close. No one reacts. They're too busy shouting at each other, debating what, I have no idea. Joseph D. Rosenbaum, that's this guy. The bald ginger dwarf. He's in the red shirt. Look how angry and aggressive he is. He has about 35 minutes to live. Shoot me, nigga. As far as I can tell, no one was shot at that moment, but someone was shooting even then. Rittenhouse is in the militia group. About 30 minutes later, still angry, the mob set a dumpster on fire and pushed it towards the gas pumps. The militia, oh my God, look at that. The militia reacts by putting out the fire. Holy crap, dude. They take a literal dumpster fire and start pushing it towards the gas station. Footage has emerged of Rittenhouse moments before running to give that fire extinguisher to the man who used it to protect everyone there from being blown up. It's reported that this enraged Rosenbaum, who immediately focused on Rittenhouse. Are you getting this? Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old, was trying to put out a dumpster fire. All right, let's keep going. Rosenbaum charges at Rittenhouse and tries to disarm him. The 17-year-old breaks away and begins running with the enraged 36-year-old and about eight BLM protesters in hot pursuit. We all know what happened next. We now know 
that Rittenhouse fired five shots, hitting Rosenbaum five times. But if you listen carefully, there was a shot just prior to Rittenhouse's. This caused him to think he was being shot at. He shoots Rosenbaum. As he circles back, three shots. Someone is shooting at him. Millions have now seen what happens next. As Rittenhouse runs to turn himself in, the BLM rioters chase and attack him. He fires three times with two hits, one fatal. Again, listen after Rittenhouse gains his feet. Numerous shots. They're shooting at him. It sounds like a pistol. I counted nine shots. Rittenhouse simply carries on. Whoever it was off camera, and at that distance, they luckily hit no one. Well, if BLM is denied revenge, at least they have their latest martyrs, right? Remember, the Democrats worked hard to create them. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Please tell me it isn't happening. Remember how I said the Democrats are drawing in and enabling the worst kind of people? Rosenbaum is a pedophile prison rat. Huber, world-class woman beater. I mean, really violent. Grosskreutz, burglar. Grosskreutz is a convicted felon. Therefore, his possession of a pistol in any capacity is a crime. Rosenbaum was a hard case who garnered 42 infractions of the rules during a 10-year stint in Arizona for child molestation. He'd have been out in five on good behavior. Huber was a nightmare. His record involves brutal and prolonged battery of women, including strangulation. The left is hard at work right now, trying to cast these three goons as heroes and Rittenhouse as a monster. Kyle Rittenhouse was doing what the Democrats running Wisconsin failed to. Full statement from the Rittenhouse family's legal team, Pierce Brain Bainbridge, they intend to fight this in court to fully exonerate a kid who never should have been placed in that position. As eyes now focus on the BLM's continued violence in DC, we shouldn't forget Kenosha, Wisconsin, where for three nights, rioters, arsonists, and looters ran wild until the community said enough. Yes, it was ugly. Lives were lost. They made him do it. Damn them. Thank you for listening. To support Brent Cates, go to paypal.me slash Brent Cates. And remember, I will be the greatest president that God ever created.